Hello folks, um, we are picking up here on Dark Souls Remastered playthrough and we're in the Royal Woods. We're accessing the DLC contents here. We have finished exploring the first half of the Royal Wood in the last episode and right here we'll be, we'll be tackling the other half. And you could totally just jump through that, uh, which is what we are going to do here. Jumping through that will give you not only the advantage of exploring this area first, but also easier pathing and looting. And there is another jump, don't mess it up. Guardian Helm We got quite a few pieces of it and do not try to hop down there and just avoid all the drops I believe there is a pincer attack right over here Oh no, those guys gonna jump down I think Come here Nope Okay Elizabeth Mushroom That's some good healing items there And there is a limited amount of those Alright, so let's go around Fireballs here. Now let's just save. Save, save a little bit. Just try to roll through their attacks. It would take so much stamina to just resist. This guy, and that is where we came up from. Stone Guardian armor. Mm, did I miss anything? No, I don't think so. This direction to pick up loot. I just petrified something. Sir man Is that the gauntlet? No. Soul of the brave warrior. Nope. 
Gold coins. And now it's where we gain access to our... That's a crystal lizard. Position ourselves real quick. So we take out the small guy first. Then we'll deal with the. Actually, we can beat this guy fireball here. Ouch, ouch. Hurt. Bonk. Okay, so double hand. Scoop. And that is the shortcut, but we left behind some loot here. Let's go grab the loot real quick. Ambushes? Yes. This game will not give you any free loot. At least not at plain sight. These are all abyss corruptions here, and we pretty much got everything. Now we are good to grab that piece of loot behind the house and proceed. to make sure there's nothing on this side taking the teleport down here will result us to reach Ulasil so this one is not activated yet that is down in the abyss by a shadowy limb and dragged off to the past yes yes of course exactly what happened to me we are both strangers in this strange land but at least now there are two of us he did you happen the across battle. knight artorias the legendary abyss walker from the old tales well, if you haven't, it's just as well. He's a colorless sort, if you ask me. <laughs> so, what did that giant mushroom make you do? Not that I care. It's none of my business. <laughs> hmm? I've little to talk about, really. Oh, you know me. What do I know? <laughs> hmm? I've little to talk about, really. Oh, you know me. 
Okay, and there's some regular items here. We could buy a couple more of these, but it seems overpriced here. Not like we can level up anyways. Alright. So long. So now it's a shortcut that I've been talking about. We would like to replenish our our Estus flask here. <clears throat> yeah, this this fight can be rather tricky. Uh, why did I not just use? Yeah, I just show you guys the bearing here. So if you take the path that leads up to here. And now we would really like to. Yeah, actually, let's walk back to Firelink Shrine. By resting here, you get 20 Estes flasks. And... Stone Dragon Sanctuary Garden. Ula Seal Sanctuary, so that's where we wanted to go. Everything it would be good to and for the time being let's put on the Clorenti ring shall we? So we have that little bit of stamina regeneration and we can put on the silver serpent ring as soon as we beat the boss here. So we get that extra little soul. But still not missing a whole lot on the uh, on the stamina generations. It can be quite exhausting fighting Atorias here. Take your path down. Not sure if they're gonna follow you. I believe there is a one NPC that you can bring along with you, but I don't think that's necessary because that's just gonna make the fight that much harder. And okay, into the night victorious the fighting ring. Finally, get to see the legendary knight who has gone hollow. By his instinct, he would still want to vanquish anything to do with the uh, abyss. Such a cool, cool boss fight here. this pyromancy Burn. 
Ouch, ouch, that hurts. Attack again. And I can heal. There is not a lot of spots that you can heal, but make sure it's somewhere after his attack. We have one last cast, so might as well use that. Eat this. After he does the buff up action, he actually hurts way too much. And that's the second buff. He's gonna get even beefy right now. And try to dodge his attacks. Do not try to tank through. One attack. At a time, do not get greedy, and that can be changed into a three jump attacks. Just like that. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so the fireballs is not that ideal in this boss fight. Let's walk real quick to get our Estus flasks back. And a tomb magic will take the Chaos Fireball away. Combustion is. Fire Surge Whip Chaos Fire Whip Hmm The Fireball takes so long to cast so that's not ideal so we will go with two combustions how about that so we just rely on our Pyromancy with the level of pyromancy flame being high that is one of the advantage that we can get our hands to that is non-stop casting pyromancies by non-stop i mean casting a lot while dealing so much damage And now, these goons, they will drop down trying to fight us. Okay, you guys missed. Send this up in case we need to come down again.
All right, round two. So this time we will chip in the fireballs first. There are only four casts, so for sure we will be able to chip this this one in. And even if it go waste, we will not worry too much about it. I'm gonna pick up my soul. Chug. Oh wait, what? He's already doing it. Oh no. This is bad. We're barely... We're barely starting the fight and you're already... First phase. This isn't fair. Combustion scene. Ouch. There's some crazy movements right here. Okay, I think his buff subsided. to go hyper aggressive here one follow-ups one chaining up anything nope Just one attack at a time. Do not get greedy here. And I got a little greedy there. I had two attacks. Now the one shot potential is real. The combustion is such a joke right now. Down you go, Atorius. You have served your duty well. Alright, so... Into the township we go. Yep, 
combustion, throw it out. Do not look at it the second time. Enter the gas bell. That is a purple covered crystal. So that is the arena that you can get paired up with different people to do your PvP events. here we just need three more levels so we are through after we rest there and another NPC should have spawned by the by Autorius graves here no not yet hmm. okay did 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 I not rest here I think I did. I must be trolling if I hadn't. Yeah, so I'm not trolling. It hasn't spawned yet. Now let's go talk to the big buddies here who's gonna help us. I think the door the door is locked right now. Not sure if the master key would have worked. Yep, it's locked. Any loots to be had? Nothing. Oh, and guess what? I forgot to swap to the silver serpent ring and we missed the 20% of the 50,000 souls how much is that? that is nearly uh, how much is that? about 20k Seed here, kill all these goons. Do not get swamped. Yeah. Time and time again that the game tries to tell tell me. I always ignore that. That fight almost went to the guard just because it's a 3v1 situation. And the stagger potential here. Oh, that works. Goodbye guys. I found down there. And don't you they're casting another time. I knew it. go and there is a guy your head is poking out little ledge that we drop down to
the instance of you need to go down before you could go up. be let there be light that is indeed correct so let there be light not sure if the skull lantern would work here I think it might I remember that that being a thing hello buddy well drop down for a backstab Yep, Skull Lantern works here. That is a silver pendant, if I'm not wrong. It repels any abyss-related uh, hex magic. Is that how you call it? But you need to time it well. Uh, let's try here. So repentant. Ouch, ouch. Yep, uh, you need to time it like really well, so. did not look pretty at all it's time for us to be human form real quick because there are gonna be an NPC invasion here reverse Halloween And at the same time, let me take a look at the time here. We are at 33 minutes. So, which means it's best for me to just call this episode right here. After attuning the magic, throw these two trolls out. We might be better off using some other pyromancies. Such as... Not sure how fire orb would have worked, but let's give the surge and whip a try. Okay, so let's wrap up this episode here. And in the next one, we'll be continuing the township here. Alright, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next episode.